Hey YouTube, thought I would bring you up to date on another little project I'm working on. It's going to be part of my uh, whole solar system. What I picked up is called an Atopilot. It's a voltage and current sensor that they use in uh, RC planes, but this will do up to 45 amps. Uh, it'll measure up to 45 amps and 50 volts. You can actually go higher as well with these little boards. But what I wanted was a remote sensor so that I could put this out where the panels come in to the house and measure the voltage and current. But I wanted to wirelessly send and log it to a computer. So I also picked up, with that, I picked up a couple of these XBs with the USB adapter, obviously to power it. But these little XB devices are made by Digi. And they are wireless. They're like the old, uh, I guess you could say that they're a modem. They communicate wirelessly. I picked up two of these. So they'll communicate back and forth. Um, actually, one is going to be a transmitter. The other one's a receiver. So the receiver, I'll plug it into my computer with the USB. And this will receive everything that's transmitter. So I have one configured now as a transmitter. And it's exactly the same as this setup here. So the transmitter will pull the serial ports on the XB, which the serial ports will be connected up to this adapter here, this sensor. Every so couple seconds, the transmitter will pull the serial ports just to see what the voltage and current is, send it up to the other receiving XB device, which is connected into the computer. And then from there, I'll be able to take it in, log it. Uh, I should be able, if I can write the software, I should be able to tweet it, um, map it, set it up on a web page. Uh, once I get it inside there, I can do whatever I want with it. So we'll see how this goes. At this point now, I have uh, the two XBs commuting, communicating together. Um, the configuration for them is not really that bad. And if I get a chance, I will do another video on how I actually went through and uh, set them up. One as the transmitter, the other one as the receiver. But that's about it for now. Once I get this put together, I'll do another update. Well, folks, I've got the, uh, the XB on the USB breakout board with the voltage and current uh, sensor. Now I decided to go ahead and solder these connectors on just to make it easier to take it in and out of the system, in and out of the circuit. I also made up these so I can plug it right into what I have out there. So this will take readings, the voltage and current, send it back here to the uh, wireless XB. USB board is really just for uh, powering it up at this point and I should be able to have this send it to the other XB which will be plugged into the computer and then I'll have uh, wireless logging of the voltage and current coming out of my solar panels. Get this in the circuit and see if I can get some uh, readings coming back. So I'll update everybody when I uh, get to the next step.